Hey guys and gals and all the beautiful people in between. I have got something kind of cool here I want to share with you. Uh, hopefully I can do this in about five minutes, but don't hold your breath. I picked these up at a local department store. When I went in to do an exchange, I found these on the rack, grabbed them, did the exchange and ran out the door, brought them home, tried to figure out the date these were made or some approximate date and the best i could come up with is it's got to be um mid 80s to early 90s somewhere in there um it can be kind of difficult to date levi's um in certain eras and i think this era is a little harder than say a lot older um levi 501s or whatever so um the things that jumped out right away, you know, when I saw them was the orange tag. This one has the Levi's. This one doesn't. The second was the artwork on the labels on the pockets. Um, that kind of was like screamed out that they were older. Uh, turns out these are artwork done by Bruce Wolf and he did artwork for the 517 line in the 80s so that was kind of a cool thing um, the other thing is the uh, tag it has the made in the US tag on it um, unfortunately I dislodged this one doing the reviews so that came off but uh, kind of a bummer so here's the tag made in the u.s you flip it over this is about the only tag on these jeans too the older ones they didn't have all the tags the newer ones do so you can see the care instructions you can see the other numbers on this um you know the a couple of them are kind of semi-obvious the 2517 it's like the style number the 0217 might be like a subset of that number. Um, 575 is like the control number that you find on the buttons. And that will tell you you're dealing with, you know, a pair of genuine made Levi's. Uh, not a counterfeit pair. That's a good way to, to verify. Although, side topic is um, I've never seen like a genuine pair of like just regular Levi's that were counterfeited. Um, it seems to be a popular topic, but there's not much evidence out there uh, that there's all these Levi's floating around that are counterfeit. Uh, maybe if the, the ones that are, you know, they're saying are really old vintage that are worth a lot of money, maybe, maybe those, but uh, I don't think so with this, you know, I think that's kind of like fake news anyway. So going back to this, we have another number here that I thought could indicate a date that's 1194 so November 94 but I I can't say that for sure I can't really verify that okay so then there was that that was cool because it's made in the US um, the denim itself is uh, very nice quality it's rigid wash so it's it's samplerized um, but it feels like really high quality denim I do have another pair that are made in Nicaragua Let's bring those guys to the table. And the wash on these is a, is a heavier pre-wash, so that the denim's more slubby and, and soft. Um, side note on the 517s, they're boot-cut jeans, uh, so they have a flared-out... Uh, they're, they're more flared-out on the cut for boots. The pockets are deeper, uh, 517s, they give about another inch. Uh, versus a 501, which is not as deep, nice for cell phones. Tuck mine, I have a plus size iPhone, so it goes right down to these pockets real nice. But to be fair, I don't wear 17, 517s like I used to. These are also way too big for me, 3636. 36. This is a pretty big guy. Um, so I can wear a 36 in a straight cut, but not in a boot cut. And 36 waist is way too big for me. Uh, so moving along, stitching on these was another thing that was interesting because the stitching is really nice. 
compared to uh, the ones made in Nicaragua. Double stitch inseam. That's something they did back in this era. They do not do it anymore. It's single stitch. But look at how nice that is. It's really clean, nice looking stitching. Nice looking at the inside of this denim. It's really nice. The other side of the stitch. Look at that. Just super nice, super clean. The ones made in Nicaragua. Very functional. It's a functional stitch. Uh, it's not like it's it's uh, you know going to give you problems, but I'm just you know look at the difference in the switch switch in the stitch. <laughs> you know, look at the other side. Um, you see it there too. Um, so those made in Nicaragua. I love saying Nicaragua. So there's that, but. Really nice. This also has some interesting markings on it. It's like D3. The other side, you can see 02, and that's on all the inside of the denim. It's stamped all over. So I don't know if that indicates uh, the type of denim. I'm thinking maybe it does. It's not something you see on uh, newer pairs of Levi's. I have a, a lot in my collection. And I've never seen these markings before. So, you know, they're made in the U.S. Maybe this is U.S. sourced denim. I'm thinking it must be, probably. Uh, whether it's Cone Mills or White Oak, that's, I don't know. But uh, probably safe to say it's sourced uh, from the U.S. since they're made in the U.S. Um, so, yeah, kind of interesting stuff. The orange tab, um, what I learned on that is they first made them in 1969. They stopped making them around 1999. Um... I've heard it said that they were more of the economic brand of the day. Uh, they had what they called, I guess, the Line 8 stitching uh, for the orange tab. And um, so it had its run, and they're popular. Uh, 517 is popular, I think, still today. It's popular with uh, in women's for a style that women wear as well. Uh, I guess the vintage stuff is, is sought after uh, for women's jeans. And they still make 517s for women for women today. So kind of like the 501 boyfriend jeans. Um, the 501 button fly just made in a woman's cut. Anyhow, guys, um, kind of cool stuff. I hope you enjoyed this. Kind of comparing the, the new with the old. Um, looks like it went over the five-minute mark. Darn it. But uh, it's kind of cool to see how they were made 20-plus years ago compared to how they're made now. Uh, these were... Brand new, probably 35 bucks, something like that, uh, back in the day. To get American-made, U.S.-made Levi's, you got to spend uh, 200 on up. Uh, but that's just the way it is. It's the world we live in today. It's part of marketing, I'm sure, on Levi's part. Um, you know, these ones made in Nicaragua are still uh, fine jeans. Um, I have jeans made from all over the world, Levi's, uh, Haiti, Nicaragua, Mexico, um, Egypt, you know, the list goes on. They're good jeans. Uh, but, you know, we see the difference between the two. It's, it's very obvious. And, um, you know, I wish they were still made here, but it is what it is, folks. But I hope you enjoyed this. Um, hope it was interesting. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you the next time.